the cooperation that we have experienced from one another has been a tremendous one. So my second reason for being here is one of solidarity. On Sunday last, I instructed our Minister Plenipotentiary to send a letter on behalf of the government of St. Martin to the Kingdom government, expressing our solidarity with the government and the people of Aruba One, and urging the Kingdom government to bring an end to this situation and start again negotiations with Aruba on the basis of equality and respect for the autonomous position of the country of Aruba, and by extension, all of the countries within the kingdom. So the other matter is one of solidarity as far as I am concerned, and as I have this opportunity for which I thank the minister to express those same words to the government and the people of Aruba, one of St. Martin being in solidarity. And thirdly, I believe that we really, we really as countries, Caribbean countries in the kingdom in particular, need to draw a line in the sand and establish that there are certain things that we will not allow to infringe on the autonomous position of the countries of the kingdom of the Netherlands. So with those three reasons in mind, I am here today and again supporting the government and letting the kingdom government know that at least St. Martin stands in solidarity with the, with the people and government of Aruba. Of course, like Minister de Mesa has expressed, I am counting on a solution um, to be reached between partners because I believe that um, common sense must prevail in this case. The position of the Prime Minister of Aruba is a very clear one. And I think that parties must let common sense prevail. Other than that, I believe if we're not getting any results from that call on common sense, that the countries, the Caribbean countries of the kingdom need to jointly express our position towards the kingdom government and see then if that would evoke a feeling of um, you know, wanting to cooperate, a feeling of wanting to negotiate and discuss. So I first of all, I hope that the kingdom government and the government of Aruba could reach an understanding that would then clear this impasse that we are at. And again, I hope common sense will prevail, that's one. And secondly, if that is not the case, then I think very urgently the Caribbean countries, Aruba, um, and I can speak for St. Martin for sure, and hopefully also Curacao can come together and put very clear our position on paper to the kingdom government as to the handling by the kingdom government and the treatment of these other countries and our objection to the treatment that has taken place.